Hey there, sixth graders. Since I am not here today, like we practiced yesterday, we we'll go through talk about what it is that you have to do. So listen really carefully here as I go through the directions in this video. First of all, make sure that you're completing the assignments in the order that I'm giving them to you in this video. It's very important. There are only two things to work on today. One of them you have to finish in class. Otherwise, you will lose points for not getting it done and not using your class time wisely. The other one I want you to start. Many of you will finish. And if you don't, it's okay. It's not homework. We'll have a chance later this week to finish it. And then if you don't finish it, it'll be homework later this week. So let's go ahead and get started with what it is that we're going to do. In Google Classroom, after this video, you'll also see in the same post, there is a link to Edpuzzle. And just like we did yesterday with my Edpuzzle, my links are always just to take you to the Edpuzzle site. And then once you're on the Edpuzzle site, you, you uh, select our science class. And then once you're in our science class, it'll show you your assignments. So when you get to science, uh, science six, you'll see that you have two videos in there. One was the one from yesterday, and then there's a new one in there today about minerals. It is for a grade. And this is the assignment that you have to get done before class ends. Let me repeat that again. You have to finish this before class ends. This is part of something you totally can get done. It's short. I think it's four minutes, maybe not even four minutes. No reason you cannot finish it in class. So you have to get it done in class. And it is for a grade. Once you're done with that, then you're going to work on what's called a reading guide. In every single unit, we're always going to watch some videos, we're going to do some labs, we're going to take some notes, and we always read. Okay, that's the fourth thing. We always read. It's short, though, this week. It's just about formation of minerals, how they form. It's a short reading. In fact, here it is here. It's printed out for you. You're going to go through and you're going to read through that. And then you're going to answer questions in what's called a reading guide. A reading guide is your way to go through a reading, and I'm kind of pulling out for you what is important. And so there's blanks to fill in, sometimes with a word or a phrase, or maybe there is just a question that you have to answer based off of the reading. So you use the reading. All of the answers are in that reading. But you need to read it carefully, and you have to answer the questions. Those are the two things that you're working on today. When I come back tomorrow, we'll go back through. We're going to finish the video about what exactly is a mineral, that really bad old video, and any of this other work that you don't have done. All right, that's my buzzer. Kids are about to walk in. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be good for the sub. I can't wait to have a great report. Bye.